Harland is just cranking out some stunning, beautiful looking fifth wheels. This big country is definitely one of them with some things that just look and feel different than anything else that we've seen. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound, and I am here in Elkhart, Indiana today. And this here is an event that I'm at that is actually an industry-only event. It's not open to the public, so it's not like an RV show or anything like that, but kind of is like an RV show at the same time, but it's for dealerships to come and see the new products that manufacturers have to offer so that they can place their orders on the RVs that they wanna have at their dealership. So it's a great place for someone like myself to come and show you all of the new stuff that is being displayed for the first time. And this Heartland Big Country is so freaking nice. First of all, on the outside, I just love the way they design things on here. So this front cap looks really, really nice. You can see the mountain graphic on there, that sun beaming in the background isn't really helping. So let me, come over to this side so you can really get a better look at that graphic, hopefully. See how it has that mountain graphic on there? Looks really good. This is a molded fiberglass one-piece front cap. This is a full profile fifth wheel. And in Heartland's hierarchy of fifth wheels, it goes Heartland Landmark at the top, then you have the Heartland Bighorn, and then the Heartland Big Country. Um, but this is still a very nice, premium, full profile fifth wheel. So don't let you think just because it's third down on the list that it's not premium because it is, and there's a lot of brands that are under the big country, so it's definitely closer to the top than it is to the bottom. So a really nice brand. I love the color scheme on the outside. Just keep it simple, white, black, gray, and then they add that touch of just that bronzest gold color that, oh, it just looks so good. I love it. So this here, it's a 40 foot long fifth wheel. It's actually like 40 feet, 11 inches, I believe, and we're actually gonna get in the shade of this fifth wheel. Uh, cable driven slide mechanism here. It looks like you have a rack and pinion style slide mechanism there. You do have a drop frame down underneath here, and that's going to give you some big storage compartments up front here. You have the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. So this has a rubber bushing here that's going to absorb some shock there as you brake and accelerate. And then down underneath here, this should be batteries and inverter. Yep, and all your wiring. So they do all their wiring through this uh, Vault XL box. This is going to keep everything clean and concise underneath there. Plus you have color coordinated wiring under there. So if you ever have to do any electrical troubleshooting, whether it's yourself or taking it in for service, gonna speed up that process and either save you time or save you money with that. You have a inverter underneath here, spot for your battery and hydraulic fluid. And then through here, this should just be storage space. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, y'all. Look at how big that storage is. Oh my gosh, we gotta get around to there. Oh my gosh, whoa, that was massive. Um, kind of prepped to add a generator in here, although I don't see any wiring for the generator, so you would need to get wiring installed as well to put a generator in that spot. But man, that storage space is absolutely massive underneath here. So when we get around, we're gonna take a look at that and look at the storage. Oh man, this is looking like it's going to be absolutely huge. Whoa. Look at that. That is absolutely insane. And you don't have any frame exposed underneath here or anything. This is crazy. You could fit a queen size bed in there. I don't think a king would fit, but a queen size bed would easily fit in there. That is giant. You can see heat being ran into here, so it is climate controlled as well, and about as clean looking of a pass-through storage compartment as you're ever going to see. Auto leveling controls right there. It does have slam latch doors on here, and you can mount a TV or something like that to this wall if you want. Have TV connections here. You could have a TV that slides out or something along those lines. Solar charge controller, so there is solar on the roof. Going to have 30 pound propane bottle there, 30 pound propane bottle on the other side. Six point hydraulic auto leveling. You have a tinted glass door for your entry door, seeing that on a lot of different brands for 2024. You have your leash latch underneath there, plus that can double as a bottle opener. You have a light over your entry door and you have a light underneath your awning. So you'll have that LED light strip there. Awning here over the door and awning on the slide out. As we go this way, love that they went to a black wheel. Just keep it clean, keep it looking nice. Goodyear Endurance American Made Tire. And this is a uh, 255 85R16 tire. You have a Moride CRE 3000 suspension system, fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines will sit above the enclosed underbelly up under there. 
and we'll check inside. I'm near certain this has 12 volt heat pads on it, but I just want to double check when we go outside. So hopefully I don't forget. Side cameras there, so you can add side cameras to that if you would like. It's prepped to add that. And as we come back around to the back, absolutely massive slide out here. We'll see how that translates to the living space on the inside when we go inside. Have a nice, you know, just simple looking back cap here. Nothing too crazy, it looks good. You have the spot here to use the retractable lippert ladder if you wanna get that ladder to get up onto the roof. That will be a third party accessory you'll have to purchase. You're going to have spot to install a backup camera, has an accessory hitch off the back rated for 300 pounds. And then you can see here, oh, that's for the trail runner, sorry. We're not gonna look at that here. Um, that's probably just gonna be a gray tank dump valve because this is a rear kitchen. And then your black and gray tank for the bathroom and everything else will be on the other side of the axle. Um, I guess we gotta get over here so we can look at some of the water connections. I kinda, I'm just so excited to get inside and show you all the inside, but I gotta go over the stuff real quick. Tankless on-demand water heater open this up and water connections through here. You have the Nautilus water management system, very easy to use, very concise, motion activated light in that portion. And you have a water filtration system built in as well. Plus cap on the bottom so you can run water lines up through here and keep this door closed. Keep in mind, again, this storage space is connected to that front door up there as well. And I just can't believe just no framing exposed or anything is just so uncommon and it looks so clean. So that's about everything on the outside. Now let's go ahead and head inside and y'all are just going to love this. I already know y'all are going to love this. Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about and I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work play and faith and i'm really excited about what's to come on this youtube channel there's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well where you can subscribe to firmly unbound and i pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the united states to show you what it means to live firmly unbound so some exciting video content is coming can't wait to see y'all there Now, one of the things I want to talk about real quick, we're seeing this on some of the Heartland products, some of their higher end fifth wheels. This right here is a third party accessory from Lippert that they are putting on standard that allows you to not have to grab and reach this handle here. You can actually grab this at any point and it is going to allow you to open the door. So that is great. I love that. And you have the safety rail here that will extend out so you can reach it from without even having to step onto the first step. You have the more ride step above step. And I should also note, this is a strut assisted step. So it will be weightless for you, making your life easier. And as we come inside here, you can see right away, already looking a little different than most fifth wheels out there with the way that we enter in. And man, oh man. Of course, as always, I wanna know your thoughts. I wanna know what you think. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about the look and design of this 2024 Heartland Big Country. This thing, I will give you my opinions, but I want to give you a second to go down into the comments and let me know what you think about the look and design in here. Very, very interesting. Not often are we seeing an island kitchen that's also like a rear kitchen. So you have your stove along the back wall here. If you like having countertop space around the stove, look at all of the countertop space this is going to give you. How impressive is that? Not only that, you're gonna be able to see out this back window while you're cooking here, and you have a window over here so you can see out into your campsite. You have this black range hood that just looks so clean, looks so good. And we'll start going through some of the storage here. Cabinets there, these are white cabinets with, that looks like a gold-ish style handle. Pretty close to gold, I would say. That's probably the closest color that you could compare it to. Some lights up above this cabinetry as well. And you'll have the same storage over here. Down underneath here, you have the same color cat or handles, but different color cabinets. And really liking this contrast that we're seeing in these colors. Are these soft clothes? Soft clothes drawers, okay. Magnet latches on your cabinets. No soft clothes on the cabinets though. Outlet here and outlet in that corner right there. This is gonna be a Suburban Elite Series oven. So a larger size oven there. Storage space still underneath here as well. So you don't lose that with the Suburban Elite Series oven. And it's a three burner stove with plenty of space there. As we spin this way, again, island kitchen, 
nice residential size Furion 12 volt refrigerator. Looks really good. It's kind of a, you know, kind of a flat stainless steel color. Doesn't have that shiny reflective material and just so interesting in here. I'm really just giving you all a chance to just take it in, really see the floor plan for what it is and the design for what it is. Absolutely massive slide out boxes. Those look like they're about seven feet tall. So that's why I was talking about this space just feels huge because of how big those slide outs are. Dining table here, you have black chairs there. I love that. I'm sure there's two other chairs underneath the bed in the bedroom that you can bring out here. Extendable leaf on that table and it is just mounted to the sidewall. So if you wanted to take this out and put something else there, you could do that too. Slide out flooring matches the flooring here in the rest of the fifth wheel. And then you have two recliners here in this space with storage up underneath here. Very curious what you think about the recliner color. Um, I'm not an interior designer and I do not know my interior design colors, but if you know what color this is, please let me know down below in the comments. Two cushion sofa right there. And then you have this ottoman here that you could use really wherever you want. It's kind of interesting because this is just a pad on top of it that is wood backed. So it does have wood on the back there and you can take that off. I'm sure there's storage in here as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see what they did here. I see what they did here. I wasn't expecting that because I don't play with this stuff too much before I come in and just start filming. Yeah, you can basically get like almost a little table here to sit at while you're at the sofa. Ooh, it doesn't come up super high, but nice little hinges there that it's on to access that storage. Love that. That is cool. This might be hard to get down with just one hand, but I can do it. I've become a professional at operating components in RVs with one hand while I hold the camera. Um, so this here, it's freestanding. You can move that wherever you want. Really like the color of it. Of course, y'all let me know what you think as well. Here with your TV, that looks to be about a 60 to 65 inch screen TV, definitely bigger than a 50 inch. So big TV there. This is your viewing angle from the recliners. It's perfect. It looks great. You have your sofa right there. This is what your view will be from around the fifth wheel when you're sitting in this left recliner seat. Just feels very comfortable. Ceiling fan in this space as well. And you have a Furion soundbar with this wood lip there that you can use for decor or, you know, whatever else, whatever other purpose you think you could find for that. And you have a absolutely massive hidden pantry back behind here. Motion activated light when you open that door. And look at that. I mean, that is just a huge amount of space there. Plus you have this lip right here that you can use for storage as well. Very, very impressive. Fireplace is going to be an electric heat source for you as well. So you will be able to get that electric heat from that. Nice countertop space here. And then they do a low mounted microwave. And that's gonna be a residential size standard microwave underneath here. Storage space here in the kitchen. Some shelving there. Solid surface countertop. So that's a solid surface. You got storage that opens up here. This looks like these are two are connected. And then on this side, is this all, yeah, this is all symmetrical with this space. So giving you a bit of a symmetrical look there, I like that. And then you come down, you have the storage underneath the microwave as well. Whoa, that is a big drawer. Wow, that is a huge drawer. Soft close on that too. Drawer here that opens up, that's a little bit of a small drawer. And uh, um, what you gonna call it? There you go, soft close on that. That top drawer needs a little work on that hinge that it's on or the ball glide that it's on. But yeah, four drawers there. Storage space underneath here, underneath your island. Don't tell me, I, I didn't even turn on the light that's under the island. I knew there had to be a light underneath there. I just knew it. Have big space underneath there. I don't think, and I don't see anything that says this is prepped for a dishwasher. So I don't believe that's gonna be the case in this product and storage space underneath there. So big island with a charcoal stainless steel sink. Love that. Love the colors here on this faucet that you have. Oh, just, mm, it's just so, so nice. I love the color palette in here. It just feels very, very, I don't know. It's a warmer tone, but it's modern and it's not like too warm. It's not, it doesn't feel old. I don't know. I just really like it. I'm a big fan. Sofa will make into a bed. So that's going to be a trifold sofa. We'll basically make it to a full size bed. You have your grab handle coming up these steps here. You're going to have your controls right here for your fifth wheel. Everything that you need is in here. Plus here's your 12 volt heat pads. So you do have those for your water tanks. And then you're going to have 
uh, breakers and fuses through this area here. Motion activated lights going up the steps, so these will come on automatically for you. And then as we walk up, this has a huge window here. I did block that shade there just to, the sun was beaming in from that side and it's helping keep the RV a little bit cooler. And as we come into the bathroom, nice big rectangular shower has a huge skylight in this shower. I mean, look at that. Massive. You have a light in here as well. You have a bowl sink with a gold faucet. That is definitely different. Let's take a look at that. You have your medicine cabinet here. Some shelving there and this is a porcelain foot flush toilet all concealed back in there with a farm style door here a sliding pocket door and ceiling height in this front area when i stand on my tip tip toes my head touches the ceiling so it's probably about six six or so i would imagine step in here oh my gosh these showers just feel fantastic because of how big this skylight is it's not just that it's letting in some natural light but it's the added height that you get and how big it is i mean it's almost the entire length of the shower so when i go on my tiptoes here my head does not hit the skylight so i would think you could be like six eight at least and fit in here i will say with these style showers they always sit too low for me so when the camera's at my eye height you can see i actually can look over this so i have to duck quite a bit but you do have the wand right here as well so you will have that, plus you have your two body showers there. And the base on here is this huge. You have, you know, basically enough width through here to fit, you know, one, two, three adults. It's just very impressive. You have a standard vent fan in here. So standard vent fan and some coat hooks here. Going into the bedroom, you have opposing slide outs in the bedroom. Look at the door that they did here with the slits in the door. It looks so good. Feels like you're in a hotel, king size bed. The opposing slide outs is going to give you more space here in the bedroom. Plus it allows them to do more in this bedroom, like give you a fireplace there. So that's going to be an electric heat source for you. You're going to have storage space down underneath here. You're going to have storage space up here, window here in the bedroom, Wi-Fi router already installed AC here in the bedroom. And then it will be ducted with the other AC as well. Coming back this way, just love the way they designed this door. I think that looks really nice. Stackable washer dryer prep in this area. And really it looks like that's all this is designed for because they did not even give you a clothing rod or anything in there. So honestly, they should just put the washer dryer in there because that space looks like it's not really meant for anything else. Although you could make it something else, but they didn't give you anything to make it look like it'd be used for anything other than washer and dryer. This needs to slide over just a little bit more. You have that drawer there that will slide out. And same thing right here, it's gonna hit that too. So this just needs to, it's cause we're not level, that that's not gonna go all the way over where it needs to be. But drawers that pull out there. And then you have this shelving built into this closet. Looks really nice. Clothing rod. You'll have these mirrors that come together here. Shelving on this side and shelving across the top. And just a nice big solid surface countertop space. Very interesting closet design. Very unconventional, not what we normally see from fifth wheel RV. So I'm curious just what you think about the way that looks there. And then having your washer dryer there, keep in mind you have a little bit more storage over here as well. And then as we go to the bed, you will have a strut assisted bed storage up underneath the bed as well. And then it doesn't come with like a super quality mattress. This is about as basic as it comes. So you'll probably want to upgrade that outlets or sorry, USB ports on both sides of the bed. I'm sure there's an outlet somewhere over here too, but I could be wrong. I'm not seeing one. So I don't see an outlet on this side. There is an outlet on that side. And then you have USB ports up here. Nice looking headboard right there as well with a leather strap on there. Nice looking accent with the wood and just love the way that this looks. Your windows here have pull down blackout shades for each person and pull down blackout shade on this window as well. So this is the new Heartland Big Country rear kitchen model. So curious your thoughts. Please let me know what you think down below in the comments because I'm just so curious to hear what you think about this fifth wheel. Obviously they have other floor plans as well. This is not the only floor plan that they make, but this is just a good example of what a Heartland Big Country will look like as all of their floor plans will have a similar look and aesthetic to them. You can see we have another one right over here. And maybe I'll film that one too if I walk in and feel like it's something worth showing you. But. That's the Heartland Big Country. Very curious what you think about it. Let me know down below in the comments. And if you haven't already, go subscribe to the Firmly Unbound YouTube channel. Lots of exciting stuff coming there. That is my company and you're gonna love what's to come. Firmly Unbound is an expression 
of freedom and exploration in work, play, and faith. And all of the video content coming from Firmly Unbound is going to show what it means to live a firmly unbound lifestyle. So it's all gonna be centered around those topics. It's gonna be a lot of fun, different than RV tours, but a lot of fun and you're gonna love it. So go check that out, subscribe to that channel, and until next time, live firmly unbound.